Hi there guys, so in this video today, um, what I'm uh, going to be doing is sh showing you um, this survival kit. So I take this survival kit out with me when I'm uh, usually going on longer walks or when I'm hiking um, or just when I'm going on long expeditions uh, into the outdoors. So I've always um, used this uh, Maxpedition um, pouch for uh, a survival kit. Um, <clears throat> excuse me. Um, it's not the like my main survival kit or outdoor expedition bag, obviously, because it's really small. But um, I do. It's just a small pouch that I keep uh, in my rucksack when I go hiking or on longer walks. So uh, let's get started uh, and I'll start showing you all the contents. So first thing I have in the survival kit at the front here um, is just a, a tiny bit of paracord, a roll of paracord. Um, you can use this for many things such as repairing different things, using them as shoelaces. There's lots of um, different things you can use this for. So yeah, that's a really... Um, important item in this kit. So so now we'll um, look at this zip pocket up here. So if we just open that up, I'll just get the first thing out. So first aid, we've got some tape here. Um, after that tape, we have um, a big plaster, um, big plaster pad there for big wounds. Um, then we have just a whole bunch of plasters, I'll just show you them really quickly. So we've got a load of pl uh, plasters there, about five. Then um, we have smaller ones and then the bigger ones again, there's loads in here. Um, and then we've got some two alcohol pads um, right there. And then last of all, um, in this um, zip pouch we have the Cree, um flashlight, I forgot the name again, I keep on forgetting the names of the uh, kit, but um, I've done a review on this, I'll put it in the link in the description below, um, but this is a really nice flashlight, max power of 300 lumens, it's really light here so you can't see it uh, properly, um, so I've got that in there for a source of light. So that's the front two pockets. Um, now we move on to the main section. There's lots in here, so I'll just take it out one by one. So we've got some, uh, well, cotton wool, really good for whatever you want to call it, really, but brilliant for uh, fire starting, uh, fire lighting. Um, so really good tinder, goes up really quickly. Um, so that is one thing on there. Um, also in here, we've got. A lip balm, but it's good for fire lighting um, as well. Many uses for this, and it's a really good survival light. And then after that, this is my main um, way of fire lighting. Got a Zippo lighter right here. Um, I'd only use this in emergencies, um, to be honest. If I had to light a fire, um, I I never use it apart from. Emergencies, but just a zippo lighter in there as well. Really um, good for fire lighting. So we've got that uh, as a fire lighting item. Next up, we've just got a bag, plastic resealable bag. This is really good for um, water carrying, I guess, or just to put food in. Many uses for that in there. So that folds up nicely, and I've got that in there as well. Then after that, in here, i um, got some water purification tablets. We've got six of those in there. Um, so there, that's a way of getting water. Um, just got two more plasters. Don't know why, they must have just been put in there earlier on, but I've got two more plasters in there. Uh, secondary uh, flashlight. Or torch, um, the Phoenix U1. I've done a review on this already. If you want to go and check that out, it'll be in the link in the description below. Um, 
yeah, so this is a really good um, flashlight for a secondary flashlight. Um, so yeah, I've done a review. If you want to check more about this, um, I'll put it in the link in the description below. And then after that, there's just more items coming out. Um, so this is a really good survival item. Um, we've got that focuses. We've got our candle. Now this is really good. Um, well, I guess you could use it as a fire lighting uh, item as well, but it's also um, really good for um, just for light, basically. So if you're if you've um, if you're out in the wild and say both of my flashlights ran out of charge, I've still got this. Um, yeah, so you can just put it up somewhere, light it, and then that will just you know give off some lights. So that's another really good um, survival item in there. And then after that, guys, um, we've got the main tool, which is the Bear Grylls Ultimate Multi Tool. Um, I've done a review on this already. Um, I'll put a link in the description below if you want to go and check that out. Um, yeah, so I've done a review on this. It's a brilliant tool. Uh, like, it's got a saw in it, a serrated edge blade, a fine blade, a screwdriver, and all that. So it's got loads of tools, and it's really handy in a survival kit. Yeah, so I've got that in here as a tool. And then next up after that, in the main compartment, we've just got tissues. Um, well, what can I say? I mean, you can use these for different things. Um, fire lighting, if you've got bleeding nose, uh, for wounds. Uh, there's so many different things you can use tissues for. So um, I've got um, a whole bunch of these in my kit as well. So next up, let's look at um, the side pockets because we finished the main compartment. So first of all in here, I've got the Bear Grylls um, Priorities of Survival Pocket Guide. Um, this is a really good survival guide. It's really compact. It tells you all you know what you need to survive. So I've got that in here as well. Um, and then I've also got a battery um, to just for a backup. Um, for this flashlight in here as well. So I've got the battery <coughs> um, and then I've also got uh, some super glue. Now this is really good um, to repair different things as well. So I've got that and then the last thing I believe in this pocket here um, is some safety pins. Good for repairing things but also you know, putting things together. So these are really handy as well. So let's move on to the last section of the bag, which is this last pocket in here. Um, yeah, so first of all, I've got a mini um, fishing kit. This pouch will stand up. Um, so I've got line, some hooks. Uh, I don't know where the weights have gone. They might have fallen out in the pouch somewhere. Uh, but you get some weights in here as well. <coughs> um, so I've got that. It's really good to find food, or obviously fish. Um, but yeah, so good way of finding food. I've um, got a mini sewing kit. This is good um, for repairing things. Um, with a, a needle in there, which is really good as well. And then I think that is it. Oh, I can see the weights in there. I don't know if you can see them, but yeah, there's the weights in there. Two of those weights. So. So that is my um, kit guys, the, well my small survival pouch that I take with me. Um, so I have done a review on this Maxpedition um, 4x6 pouch, so if you want to go and check that out I'll put that in the link in the description below. Um, all the things I've done on reviews on, like the flash, like the Vigil's Ultimate Multi-Tool um, and the pouch, yeah, and I think I did one on something else as well, I'll put all them in the link in the description below. Um, camp update number two hopefully it will be coming out this week um, I believe maybe Wednesday it will come out um, or Thursday um, hopefully then but um, today I just thought I would show you this small survival pouch so thanks for watching this video guys um, please leave a like down below if you like this video um, 
leave a comment if you have any suggestions on videos I could do leave a comment down below and I'll try and do it um, yeah and also subscribe if you want to see more of this content as well so I'll catch you in the next one guys um, take care and goodbye